Take a generic bisphosphonate, but skip the DEXA scan during treatment for osteoporosis, the American College of Physicians recommends in an evidence-based guideline published in Annals of Internal Medicine. Physicians should treat women with osteoporosis with either the bisphosphonates, which include alendronate, residronate, and zoledronic acid, or there's now a new agent available, denosumab, which is a monoclonal antibody, a newer biologic agent. An estimated 54 million men and women in the United States have low bone density or osteoporosis. ACP's guideline recommends five years of treatment during which bone density monitoring is not recommended. The ACP guideline recommends that DEXA scans need not be done during the five-year course of treatment. The information shows that a DEXA scan performed while a patient is receiving treatment, such as a bisphosphonate, really does not alter therapy. ACP also recommends against using menopausal estrogen therapy or menopausal estrogen plus progestin therapy or raloxifene for treatment. In the case of estrogen treatment for osteoporosis, in fact, the harms outweigh the benefits. The harms include increased risk of cardiovascular disease. It's been associated with breast cancer and also with deep venous thrombosis. Medication adherence is an important part of treatment because patients with osteoporosis often do not feel any symptoms while taking medicine. As a general rule, physicians should prescribe generic drugs. That's important as a way to keep costs down and to uh, improve adherence because cost is certainly a part of adherence. For men with osteoporosis, ACP recommends that physicians offer drug treatment with bisphosphonates to reduce the risk of vertebral fracture. Men with osteoporosis should be treated. The data do show a reduction in vertebral fractures when treatment is provided, and we believe that with more data we'll be able to demonstrate that there'll be reduction in non-vertebral fractures as well. The American Academy of Family Physicians has endorsed ACP's guideline. For more information, go to acponline.org.